and I only hope that uh, corresponding progress is also made uh, in the civilian uh, areas as we are doing so well in the ministry. There's no smooth movement. From one civilization to another. In the name of modernization, he is being transformed. What? We recognize the imperative need for this development. Yet we must not fail to comprehend its grave implications. We're demolishing the Oriental world and the Great Great and demolishing the Western world. It's a very poor area, of course, but I heard that the economy of this slum, this area, sorry, it's like something like a billion dollars a year or something. There's so many industries here. People collecting things. Sort of myself, I'll see you. It is creative and destructive. Without also getting a new society, a new economy. <laughs> Between 9.6 and 13.2 billion in 2100. I look forward to the results that it's going to bring. We live on the cutting edge of physics, material science, technology, and engineering. We obsess over things most people only imagine. It may be a bit on their street, but it's overflowing. You know, it hasn't been collected for months. And so what do you do in that situation? That's the problem. It's the government's problem, not the people themselves. It's a real pity. All right, well... In principle, I'm against manifestos, as I'm also against... ...disapproved actions, such as aggressive acts. And most of us would say that the animal is wired to emit certain responses in certain situations such as aggressive behavior for the, te for the release of tension or frustration. Climate change is moving faster than we are, but we don't give up, because we know that climate action is the only path. I don't know where we're heading. But we're heading somewhere, that's the most important thing. These people cannot counter control. Now, he also is the person who coined the term Davos Man. That's Sam Huntington. And here he is at Davos. 
the idea that there's a global 1% emerging, which is denationalized. When you think in a certain way, you may feel considerably better. And I think if you think along the lines of nature, then you think properly. And then those people will be overlooking this area, and that's the kind of the strange thing about Mumbai. You have the immense richness combined with the immense poverty. But anyway, let's go look at this. Remarkable concept, and so I almost fell in the slum water. That would have been an amazing ending. We obsess over things most people only imagine. I write a manifesto, and I want nothing. Yet I say certain things, and the prisoners are behind bars, and the guards have guns. How will projected changes in the world's population affect our ability to achieve these new goals? So that the moral sense, whatever it was that they went in with, just disappears. And it disappears because the sanctions are not there to maintain anything like ethical or moral behavior.